Hey guys, today we are making chicken stew. I have about 8 ch chicken breast tenderloins. That's about 24 to 30 ounces depending on the size of each tenderloin. Here I have half a cup of sliced onions, about 2 small tomatoes, coconut milk, salt and oil. To grind into a paste, I have 8 cloves of garlic, 2 tablespoons of ginger, 1 green chilli, 10 stalks of cilantro, 4 cardamom pods, 4 cloves, 1.5 inch stick of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of uh, fennel seeds and quarter teaspoon of poppy seeds. I'm going to first dry roast the spices, then grind them along with garlic, ginger, green chilli and cilantro to a fine paste. I'm going to dry roast the spices until I get a nice aroma. I'm going to add the garlic and ginger with the spices and blend them into a fine paste. I'm also going to add the cilantro and the green chili. I have three tablespoons of oil heating up here. I'm going to add the onions now and fry the onions until they are brown. I am going to add a pinch of salt to quicken the browning process. Our onion has browned, so now I am going to add the paste. and give it a good mix. The space needs to be cooked until all the raw smell is gone and you can add a little bit of water to prevent sticking. The masala is well cooked guys, so now I am going to add some turmeric powder and the tomatoes. I am going to cook the tomatoes until they turn mushy. Alright guys, our masala is ready. So now I'm just going to add enough salt, about a quarter cup of water, and it's time for the chicken to go in. I'll give all this a good mix, then cover the pan with a lid and cook until the chicken is done.
the chicken is cooked so now I'm going to add about half a can of coconut milk that will be about a cup I'll just cook this for three to four minutes and turn off the heat. You can substitute vegetables for the chicken guys and make a delicious vegetable stew. The vegetables that go good in this masala are carrots, peas, green beans, potatoes and even cauliflower will be good. Here you go guys, our chicken stew is done. Serve it with rice, naan, paratha or even with appam. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching.